With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Southern Baptist disaster relief workers continue their work in Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, and Alabama following severe storms that ripped through those states over several days last week. An EF3 tornado caused damage in Jacksboro, Texas, where a disaster relief crew is now set up to provide help in the community. In Kingston, Oklahoma, a tornado destroyed several buildings belonging to the Texoma Southern Baptist Church, including the church's worship center and parsonage. Pastor Keith Rogers said the power of the storm's winds told him the damage was going to be great, but he's still grateful that the Lord has cared for his family despite the devastation. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of a Texas death row inmate's request to have his pastor lay hands on him and pray for him aloud when he receives a lethal injection. John Ramirez was convicted of a 2004 murder in the Lone Star State. The court ruled 8-1 that Ramirez could have his pastor, Dana Moore, from Second Baptist Church in Corpus Christi, with him when his sentence was carried out. This is a significant affirmation of religious liberty, said Brent Leatherwood, the acting president of the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission. Even those among us who were convicted of the most heinous crimes are to be cared for and ministered to by religious officials at their request and upon the church's agreement, said Tony Wolf, a representative from the Southern Baptist Texas Convention. Pastor Moore told Baptist Press, It is a blessing that if John does receive a date, and if he is executed, that at least I'll be able to hold his hand or otherwise be with him and pray with him as he passes. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His Great Commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. One of the creative ways the International Mission Board is sharing the gospel and offering hope to Ukrainian refugees is through social media. Less than one week into the war, the IMB launched a digital engagement evangelism strategy which reaches Ukrainians using Facebook advertisements and a website that they've just launched. The early results have been staggering as more than 5.6 million people have seen one of the two ads running on Facebook, resulting in more than 33,000 clicks and over 274,000 messages to the link. You can find more stories like this at baptistpress.com. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today. I'm Brandon Porter.